Welcome in this new technical analyze video. Today we will look at the technique of uh, Flavien Fouché, another team member of the PS Matter team. Uh, we did this video in, uh, before the race in Mittelland, one marathon from the Swiss Skate Tour. And uh, as always, we will mainly analyze this technique in the straight line because um, it's easier to film at this moment of the year. And uh, we will have some front view and some side view. So as uh, most of the time, the first things I will look uh, about the technique is the landing of the skate. For me, this is a crucial point of the technique and I like to analyze the movement based on this part. So here, one uh, of, of the points from Flavien is when he's landing his right skate, you can see that he's not uh, landing it so smooth or so flat. He's quite landing the skate a little bit from the heel. So he's only doing this uh, actually with the right skate when he's landing the left skate it's actually uh, very good having a good uh, landing is very important to get the right compression feeling uh, under your skate for the um, for the whole movement so here you can see also from the side view the right skate is quite good but the left is little bit like not so smooth during the landing it's actually uh, almost doing kind of a rebound so he's landing it gets some pressure there is a rebound effect and then at the second uh, moment it's getting a bit better on his technique so you will see actually here on this not slow motion but on those picture you will see it. it's leaning from the hill then it's getting flat then it's almost getting a bit again on the hill and is going flat again in a second uh, timing moment so that's one point he should i think improve in his technique so let's go back again into the, the front view and we will talk about the next point for his technique. And actually what I like very much into his technique at this moment is like the landing of the skate is very much under the hip. So this is quite a, a good point and it's very useful for doing a good body weight transfer later. So you see here the skate is a little bit closed, it's directly under the hip, it is a very small outside edge or almost neutral, so it's perfect condition to uh, create a good movement with the body weight transfer later. Another point that is doing good in his technique then is very much in line between the ankle, the knee, the hip and the shoulders it's really following uh, one line and it's super important to get this when you are on the outside edge or when your body weight is on the outside part of your skate because it's creating direct pressure in the ground you can keep the compression on the wheels during the rolling moment he's not really doing a strong double push but he's having a very good body weight transfer so that's uh, a good point of his technique also in this moment it's not the one who is really using a lot of double push but his body weight transfer is really not bad and the gliding moment he get on the outside edge is very strong. One of the very good points actually that I like in his technique is his side push. When he's pushing to the side, he has a very good ability to keep the skate in the direction he is going to. So he's, uh, that means for me he's really pushing from the heel. I like quite much when the skater they push more from the heel because at the end of the push it will for sure go with the front of the skate but when you start with more pressure on the heel you can have more a longer push to the side down and to the side with uh, with all the wheels at the moment so this is a very strong point he can keep the skate oriented in the direction he is going to so here you can see uh, this is the, the push is really a strong point and you can see at the end of the push he still have the four wheels on the ground with a good back skate pressure even when the leg is almost fully extended so that's a, a very very good point you will see uh, i think at this moment uh, in this sequence you can see he's pushing with all the wheels almost with the full extension of the leg and that's super good that's really i think the quality of his technique he was mainly sprinter, he's doing a lot of marathon now and you can see in a very very slow sequence that even the legs is almost extended, he almost have the pressure on the four wheels 
till the end of the movement. So this is very strong for him. You can see on this picture, at the moment it starts to lifting the back part of the skate, but the leg is almost extended, so that's very good um, in his technique. One weak point I, I don't like so much in his technique here is that when he brings back the skate, he's lifting a lot the skate. So it's more common to do this with three times under 25 or than even here on four times under 10. But he's lifting the leg, I think, too much and it's creating problem, I think, uh, for the landing. When you lift your skate very high behind, you have more delta of height to the landing, so it's harder to get precision in the landing. Okay, so that was uh, this quick analysis for his technique. More details could be uh, tell about uh, this skater. He has quite good technique. He's in transition from being a sprinter going more to marathon mode. So I think it's a good value for him because he will be able to go fast. But he was also, when he was younger, very good in the point race and things like this. So I think he's a good uh, skills combo for marathon. And his technique, when he will improve efficiency and not focus only with just a good push, if he improves good his body weight transfer and um, his beginning of the double push, I think he can be very, very strong also in marathon. So let's continue this video with a good sequence of his technique in different angle view and with some music. Thank you for following the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it and see you in the next video. Bye bye.